My name is Varela Indeboso. Um, I'm a recent graduate of Chemical Engineering, University of Lagos. I finished as the best graduate student in the school. I'm from a family of three. I live in Mushin and so very, so very ironic where people be like, you stay in Mushin, how do you cope and go to school and stuff? Because Mushi is known for his indecency and violence, but still managed to pull through. So when I gained admission to the University of Lagos in 2012, I didn't plan on finishing as best because, I mean, I was coming from a place where I thought I was a local champion. That's what everybody keeps saying, yeah, you're a local champion. So my focus was to graduate to the first class because my school produced a whole lot of students. And when I entered, the pressure was quite too much because you meet a lot of people from people from different schools, different backgrounds, different capabilities, different understanding, different approach to life. So, but I was focused. I mean, I was not, I was not desperate because one thing I learned was the more desperate you are by your grades, the lesser you achieve what you want. So I actually was not desperate. I ended up finish as with, with the first class, maybe 4.5 above or something. It was good. I finished with 4.97. I came from an average family, basically, let me put it that way. It was very rough growing up, growing up on the street of Mushin with so many violence. Even entering school, people didn't even see you as competition because where you're coming from is, is not part of the, let me put it this way, this Ivy League schools, the top schools. So they didn't expect too much from you and then I proved them wrong. Chemical engineering is not an easy stuff. It's not, it's not an easy department. It took a lot from my, from my social life because I had to sacrifice a whole lot. I had to sacrifice my social life for my academics. So I was not really the party type. I attended parties here, yeah? maybe birthday parties for friends, maybe um, cinema, maybe a little gathering, but the party like the clubbing and stuff, you no. Know, I had a lot of challenge academically. But the one that concerns me the most, and so many people are, so so many people are going through it, is actually this social media trouble. Most of them are doing what they are not supposed to do. Most of them are doing extreme things just to achieve this. Most of them are lying, and then they will influence you to to try and follow the fast lane, which is very wrong. Like the problem of, let's say this maybe Yahoo boys or something, where things like that don't encourage people to read more. I mean, I'm, I've been reading for like six hours. I've been trying to read and study and study. Then a friend of mine, for example, just he does something fraudulent online and he makes about 10 million naira. I mean, it, it takes a lot of determination for me not to get involved in something like that. So boys driving Mercedes, young boys, 20, 22 Mercedes, Ford and stuff. They've influenced younger ones badly of which they want to follow in their footsteps, of which they want to follow in their path, and that leads to destruction. So uh, my advice generally to students at large is, firstly, share the knowledge. I mean, share the knowledge. Don't be desperate about your grades. If you have materials that can help your fellow ones, share it, give it to them, let them learn. Because your grades are like eggs. You're actually preventing them from falling, but if you hold them too tight, you break them yourself. So. That is, that is like the basic point. And then work on yourself, sincerely. You are going into the world and it's actually like a different story from here. So work on things, work on projects from here. Think of what you want to do. Because the only thing that can change Nigeria now is entrepreneurship. I'm like, if different people have different jobs they can create. If we have people, different people creating about 5,000 jobs, it's going to help the economy. So. Think, it starts now. Think of something you want to do. We have so many talented people. I mean, so many of our students go travel abroad and then finish as the best. They develop so many great things. So we need to work on ourselves. And, and then I think the government should pay, more, should pay more attention to education. My plan for like next five years, sincerely, Nigeria does not really encourage people of academic talent. Let me put it that way. Most people that are good academically still end up on the streets trying to get jobs and all, but it's not, it's not, I don't think that's what I'm going to do. So my plan in the next five years is either I have my PhD 
from one of the top schools in the world or entrepreneurship like because I have a startup company now and if it works well because I believe so much in Nigeria I believe in the dream I really believe in the dream so if my startup company works well I'm actually going to be in Nigeria with enough funding but sincerely with everything I've been through and all I don't think Nigeria really encourages people of that talent it takes the grace of God and it takes a lot of sacrifice Become one of us by clicking the subscribe button or follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook for more interesting stories.